Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to show you a really simple way to blend colors for your lightsaber. Of course, you've got your red, your blue, your green, but what if you want purple? Now, obviously, there's a high-tech, expensive solution to that, getting a sound card with a color extender and being able to dial in those color combinations. But I'm going to show you today a very simple and cost-effective way to achieve that blend of purple or that blend of orange or blue-green, whatever it is that you're looking for. And we're not going to use any really high-tech equipment. So for today, what you're going to need is uh, obviously your LED. Now, we're going to be using the Tri-Cree LED available at the Custom Saver Shop, red, green, royal, blue. Those are the best colors for mixing. You can go there and it's available. You can buy it right now. Uh, I'm also going to be using obviously my optics and my heat sink. All the things I'll be listening to in this description. But in the way of tools, you're actually going to need a blade or some blade tube just so we can see what color we're working with. Uh, you're going to need some wire snips and you're going to need a soldering iron with some solder because we're going to be soldering connections. You're going to need a variety of resistors. Now, resistors are pretty inexpensive, so you can go to the resistor page on the Custom Saber Shop, and I would almost buy all of them. Anything that's 3 watts. You can get away with some 5 watts or 10 watts, it's not really going to matter. But you have lots, you can experiment with different combinations and get what it is that you're looking for. Not a lot of money. You could get a potentiometer somewhere, and you could get a multimeter, and you could dial in little color combinations with the potentiometer, and then measure the impedance with your multimeter. But that means you have to go out and buy a multimeter you have to find the right potentiometer. I haven't even tried that way personally, um, but I have done this several times. Uh, so you're going to need your resistors. Obviously, you're going to need your battery solution. Today, we're going to be using the Trustfire uh, 18650 rechargeable lithium-ion battery. That's 3.7 volts. Uh, it comes in a two-pack, so uh, we're going to be using uh, one of these. And I've got a little little get up here that I've rigged together that I'll show you a little later. It's the uh, it's the 18650 battery holder that you can get from the Custom Saber Shop, and some alligator clips. You can get these almost anywhere. In fact, if you've ordered one of the older uh, multi chargers from the Custom Saber Shop, sometimes they came with these. So uh, I keep everything and just reuse them. So I'm going to be using this set of alligator clips and another set of unattached alligator clips just to make connections and pinch things. If you don't have the alligator clips, it may just take a little longer. You can solder the connections, but that's okay. You shouldn't let it hold you back. So I think that's it. Let's get started. Okay, this is some of what I'm going to be using today. Uh, as you can see, I've got a, a, a one-inch optic module and uh, and heat sink. Your heat sink may of course look different if you're using the MHS system. This is just going to be for a project I'm doing. Um, I've already got the uh, the adhesive tape, the two-sided thermal adhesive for the star backing on my heat sink and I've, I've used a knife to cut out the center hole which I'll be using to run the wires today. Of course you don't need to do that. You can follow along and do the same things that I'm going to be doing um, with a different heat sink. This is my uh, my LED, red, green, royal, blue. And I'm going to be testing these to make sure I know which one is which before I wire them up. I've also got a selection of resistors. Now these are ones that are just in my shop from other uh, old projects and things. Uh, you can get these same values of rest resistors at the Custom Saber Shop. Yours may look a little bit different. These are all 3 watt. Sometimes your 5 watt or 10 watt resistors will look like this, the beefier kind. I've labeled them so I don't get confused on which is which. So 1 ohm, 3.9 ohm, 0.5 ohm, and these of course already say on them. 2R7 means 2.7 ohm, 3R3, 3.3 ohm, and so on. So uh, I'm going to wire up my LED and then I'll show you the steps to, uh, to blending your colors. So as you can see I've got my LED wired up. Um, I wanted to take a second and show you how I've done that. So the orange wires that you can see right in the middle, what I've done is each of the positive pads labeled with the plus sign I've attached an orange wire to that and run it through that center hole. Now I wired all, I soldered all my wires before I attached this LED to the heat sink. Um, you can attach it first and then solder it if you wish. Uh, these are really efficient at heat dissipation so they work really well either way. Um, so I've got my orange wires on my positive and you'll notice that I've, I've tested with a little battery pack. Where is it? Use this little battery pack and these alligator clips just to test um, to see which LED is which, to, to provide a little bit of voltage just so I can see it uh, light up, so I know which one's... Um, the red one's pretty easy to spot, but it, so I can know which one's green and which one's royal blue. All you need is a little battery pack that provides, um, you know, just under 3 volts. And, uh, and you can test it. So what I've got is a color-coded wire, red to the red one, 
and blue for the, the blue one and green for the green one. So this is what it looks like out the back. Okay, so I've got my optic assembled. You can see the optic there and uh, the heat sink and you can see my wires now. I've already gone ahead and attached a resistor to all three of my orange wires. And this is a 0.5 ohm resistor. And the reason I attach this is uh, it's just a good practice to protect your LEDs, especially uh, if you're using a sound card like uh, Nano Biscotti, um, uh, or in my case, the Crystal Shard. The, uh, the 0.5 ohm resistor keeps the LEDs from uh, running away with all the current and making uh, some funny behaviors in the sound card. Um, so I'm going to start with that, a 0.5 ohm. Now, if you're just doing a stunt saber and you're running a battery like this, uh, just the basic trust fire, um, 18650 lithium ion at 3.7 volts. You can run most of these with the exception of the red, which we'll get into a little later. You can run most of these without a resistor, the greens and, and whites and blues especially. But uh, a 0.5 ohm resistor is a great place to start just uh, just for, as a be best practice. So that's on the positive line to all of the resistors. So they're all going to be affected by that 0.5 ohm um, resistor. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, set up a little system whereby um, we can plug in different different configurations. We can use different combinations of wires and different combinations of resistors and we can test for the color combinations that we're going to get. So I've got a little rig here that I've made up of uh, an 18650 battery holder from a Custom Saver Shop or similar to one from the Custom Saver Shop and I've soldered it and heat shrunk it to these alligator clips. Red is positive, black is negative um, for testing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a battery in here and I'm going to make sure that the positive goes to the positive. And I'm going to connect, just for test, I'm going to connect the, the orange wire, which of course you remember is my positive to all the LEDs on a bare stretch. And I've stripped uh, away just a section of the blue wire. I don't want to try this with the red with just a 0.5 ohm resistor because this is too much voltage for a red, but not for a royal blue. So you can tell I've got a bright royal blue there. may look a little purple on camera. So uh, my battery's working. And this is what I'm going to use to test my different colors because that's probably that's the battery I'm going to be using in my saver. Of course, mine's a little beat up. My test battery here. Yours is going to look a lot nicer and newer and cleaner. Now I've taped my uh, optic holder to a just a length of blade tube um, because shining it on a table, you're not going to get the color that you're looking for. Shining it into a blade tube or into a blade um, temporarily just attached like this is going to give you a better idea of what the colors you're working with. The other thing I've done is I've got another pair of alligator clips that, as you can see, are attached to nothing. Um, so I'm just going to use these to temporarily attach some of these resistors. Now you can solder these temporarily and then unsolder them as you as you continue testing. Um, but uh, I'll give you an example of how we're going to try to do it. We'll do a purple first. I'm going to take my battery and uh, attach again to the positive. Make sure that's a nice alligator clip connection. And I'm going to take uh, my negative before I do. I want to do... Uh, Red and blue. Now, purple is a combination of red and blue. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try first um, what I would do. Let's see a. Let's try. What's this resistor? Let's try this. This is a one ohm resistor. So this would be the minimum that I would recommend doing. So we're going to try a one ohm resistor on the red wire with one of these unattached alligator clips. I mean, you can twist it and get it set up how you want. There. And now I'm going to want to attach the other end. If I just touch it to the negative, you're going to see that the blade light, lights up bright red there. So that's as bright as I want to go. Actually, I'm going to redo this connection, make sure it's nice and solid. This may seem a little convoluted, but it's just for testing. Of course, assuming that you're going to have this nice and soldered and cleaned up when you uh, install your saber. Now for the blue wire, we're just going to go direct. So that's going to attach right there see that's going to attach down here so my when I attach this my electric current is going from the red through the one the 0.5 ohm resistor into the LEDs it's coming out both of the blue and the red just oh, whoops it's come out there now it's just red it's coming out both the blue and the red because the blue is going straight to this alligator clip move this so you can see it. That means the only resistance on the blue die in here is this 0.5 ohm resistor. So it's a it's only resisted by 0.5 ohm. 
Now the red is resisted by both the 0.5 ohm going in and the 1 ohm coming out. And this is giving me a very pink, pink shade of purple. Now on camera it may not look that way, but it's pretty pink. Um, so that may not be what you're looking for, but this has been a really good first little first test. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect my negative, I'll disconnect my positive. Let's try something, because it was pinky, let's try something a little heavier on the red die. So let's go with, let's see, that was 1 ohm. Let's move up to, where is it here, 2.7 ohm. Okay, so let's do this all over again. So my red die, let's connect, connect to this, whoops, can be a little tricky. Hope you're following, following what I'm doing. If at this point you're lost, just stay with me. It'll make more sense. Okay, so my red die is connected now to this 2.7 ohm. I'm gonna test it, yeah. And the red isn't as bright as it was before with just using the one ohm, so I already know we're on the right track. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna run straight the blue to this leg. If I connected it here and then connected it all, then I'm basically I'm sharing that resistor, and that's not gonna do what I want necessarily. Whoops. See, it's flickering different colors because it's intermittent connections. Okay, so now I've got a connection. So now you can see that the power is going from the red into the orange through the 0.5 ohm resistor. The blue is still only resisted 0.5 of an ohm, but my red is now resisted 0.5 of an ohm plus 2.7 ohm. And that's actually giving me a really nice shade of purple. Now I want to point out too that as your battery wears down, that battery is quite full. As it wears down, it's going to affect the color balance a little bit because red requires less voltage. So your blue may die out a little bit and your, your purple may look more pink towards the end of your battery life. It's one of the limitations of using a single cell setup. If you want to have a consistent color blend the whole way, you got to move up to a petite crouton with a color extender or a crystal focus with a color extender. Of course, much more expensive. So now we know if I was to take apart this circuit and I was to rewire my saber with no alligator clips and just wire in obviously the 0.5 ohm resistor here and use a single 2.7 ohm resistor on the red line and run the blue line straight, then I would get this shade of purple if I was to wire my saber that way. So that's basically, I've, I've run a test, I've figured out my values, I can write them down and I can, I can achieve that purple when I rebuild this saber. Now if I wanted to do an orange, let's say, um, what I would want to do is uh, I'm going to go back to that 1 ohm resistor. That's a 0.5. Where is my 1 ohm resistor? I'm going to go back to a 1 ohm resistor on my red. 1.5 ohms is about the minimum you would want to use on a red if it was just running by itself. So if I was to connect my negative, of course I'd get a, I'd get a bright red. Now, to get orange, I need red and I need green. And you can experiment with this and discover this on your own. So what I'm going to do for the red, for the green dye, is I'm going to try, let's try this 3.9. I'm going to use a black unattached alligator clip to this 3.9 ohm. Now I want to make sure these aren't touching while I'm doing this, because if they're touching, then I can defeat the purpose of running the current separately. So I may want to take a pen or something and stick it between my wires just so that I know my wires aren't touching. Now at this end, I want to twist these two little resistor legs together because they're both going to the same place. They're going to my black negative guy. So let's try this out. Okay, so now I've got, of course, the 0.5 ohm resistor, which affects both. I've got a 1 ohm resistor on my red and a 3.9 on my green. And that actually gives me a pretty decent shade of orange. I'm going to turn my blade over and just, because inside the blade, inside the blade holder, sometimes you can see color separation. So you want to imagine from that point on, it gives you a better idea. That's why you want a longer blade length, blade length so you can see where the how the color plays out. That actually gives me a really nice fiery orange. Well, let's say I wanted it more yellowy than that. Okay, I'm going to just connect my negative here. I'm going to untwist these resistor legs. If I wanted it more yellowy, that means I need more green in the mix. So 3.9 might be too much if I want it yellowy. So let's go to, where did I have one? I've got 3.3, that would make it a little bit more yellowy, but let's go back to this 2.7 ohm. Let's try this guy, whoops. Again, alligator clips are a great little temporary solution. I'm going to twist these together, because they're both going to the same place. And I'm going to attach my negative leg. And that gives me a slightly more yellowy orange, as you can see. 
So basically I just play with my different resistor values and I can achieve the color that I want. I can take notes and, uh, and then when I've got the color dialed in that I want then I can use those resistors to, uh, to achieve the color. Now if you uh, run out of resistors maybe this 4.7 ohm isn't quite enough to dial back a certain color the way you want. Well you can actually add them together. So let's say I took this uh, 2.7 and this 3.3. If I twist them together like this just temporarily well that is now 2.7 plus 3.3 that's a 6 ohm resistor across there. Now obviously if I wanted to use this in my saber I would heat shrink there and you know cover up any bare wires with the with, uh, shrink tube um, and then probably secure this so it doesn't rattle around inside my saber because it gets a little weighty or I could just now that I know 6 ohms is what I want I could go and order a 6 ohm resistor from somewhere um, but if you run out of resistor sometimes you can combo them up like this and, uh, and, and achieve the, the result that you want. I also want to point out too that when you have decided what resistors that you're going to use you want to use heat shrink so that you cover up the bare wires it also acts as a stress relief so that the wire it's not going to break at the resistor once it's moved around a lot. Um, so that's what your resistor should look like when it's soldered in line. So I hope that helps provide you with a simple way that you can experiment and dial in the color that you want using a Tricree LED, a few resistors, and a battery. Thanks again for watching.